A man convicted for the murder of two people in Seminole back in 2015 now has a new sentence. Here's the thing. He was originally convicted of first degree murder, but five years later, that's been dropped to second degree charges and a much shorter sentence. News 4's Hunter Elise joins us live now. And Hunter, why did the sentence change? The new sentence is due to the McGurk case from three years ago, causing changes to crimes by natives on tribal land. In Kadrick Grayson's case, his first degree murder charge was tossed out in 2021. Mr. Grayson's conviction and reversal was important because his case was the one that determined that the reservation had been reestablished at the Seminole Nation. Back in 2018, Kadrix Grayson was convicted of two counts of first-degree murder for killing two people in Seminole and giving consecutive life sentences. Officer arrived, peered inside the vehicle and found the two deceased individuals, a male and female. But the U.S. Supreme Court's ruling in 2020 in McGirt versus Oklahoma means state courts no longer have the authority to prosecute crimes committed by or against Oklahomans who are also tribal members. And depending on the offense, such as a misdemeanor, uh, if they committed a misdemeanor, it would go into tribal court at the Seminole Nation. For felonies, it would find itself into federal court. Due to the McGirt ruling, Grayson's case had to be tried again in federal court. He entered into a plea agreement uh, in 2022 in the spring, and he agreed to plead to a lesser charge, second degree murder, two counts of second degree murder. October 17th, Grayson pled guilty to two counts of second degree murder. His life sentences replaced by a 27 year sentence. McGirt was a return of sovereignty to the tribes in, in a way that had not happened in over 100 years. McGirt is the biggest Native American law case. And Gifford says this is just one of many cases that will need to be retried or resentenced because of the McGirt change.